Wild night in Tempe as the Arizona State men's basketball team defeats the Oregon Ducks 78 to 64 alongside Braden Bell. I'm Rob Warner and Braden, this was a very close game throughout the whole game until the second half when ASU went on a 19-0 run to pull away. What enabled that stretch run? Well, it was complete basketball. It was great defense leading to offense. That's exactly what you want if you're a basketball team. And Arizona State just happened to do it for about six minutes. We've seen it in short bursts here and there, but that was the most complete half of basketball we've seen this season from this Sun Devil basketball team. And it was really just a great thing to watch if you're wearing maroon and gold. The fans loved it tonight. This building was rocking throughout the night. And just one of those runs that you'll talk about for the rest of the season. And who knows what happens from here on out. But if ASU continues this momentum, this could be the run you look back on that really changed the course of the season. And both teams came into this game struggling a little bit, but this game had a high emotions, a high stress, it felt like. How were the Sun Devils able to compose themselves and get this big win? Yeah, this has turned into a rivalry, no doubt about it. Oregon, Arizona State, I mean, always high, high emotions when these two teams get together. And I think a lot of the credit needs to go to Zylan Cheatham. The senior tonight was outstanding. 17 points, had a monster jam over Kenny Wooten that got everyone out of their seats here at Wells Fargo Arena. But in addition to that, he was poised. He was a leader. At times, some of the younger guys definitely let the rivalry conditions get to them. But Z was there to calm everyone down and really be that leader throughout the second half when ASU really opened this game up. And this was the kind of weekend that it seemed like ASU desperately needed. After losing to Sanford last Sunday, it seemed like ASU needed something to make a statement. Statement Saturday, what was the statement that the Sun Devils made tonight? Well, there was a league-wide email sent out that <laughs> ASU's back. I mean, no doubt about it. The Sun Devils are definitely back in the race, sitting at 4-2 and two in the Pac-12 for the first time since 2012-2013. And this is a team tonight, and even against Oregon State, for 38 minutes of that game, that's the team people expect that can win this conference. They're back. They're ready to go. As big of a weekend as this one, next weekend could be monumental. You go on the road to the L.A. schools, UCLA, USC. Everyone knows ASU hasn't swept a road weekend under Bobby Hurley. You're playing against two teams that are somewhat down, and if ASU can finally get that road sweep, you're sitting at 6-2 and two in conference play, ready to host Arizona, and then you're really, really on a good path. So great stuff to build off of here. Next weekend, you can really make a bigger statement. So the Sun Devils, they do their job this week. They get the Pac-12 sweep over Oregon State and Oregon. Next week, the L.A. schools, UCLA and USC. Right now, though, alongside Braden Bell, I'm Rob Warner, Cronkite Sports.